quantum computing is a relatively new field of technology that has the potential to revolutionize the way we process information. Quantum computers use quantum bits, or qubits, instead of classical bits to store and process data. This allows quantum computers to perform certain calculations much faster than classical computers. One of the major advantages of quantum computing is its ability to solve complex problems in fields like cryptography, drug discovery, and optimization. For example, quantum computers can factorize large numbers much faster than classical computers, which could make current encryption methods insecure. In drug discovery, quantum computing can accelerate the discovery of new drugs and materials by simulating the behavior of molecules at atomic level. However, quantum computing is still in its early stages of development and it's not yet clear how it will be adopted or integrated into everyday use. Currently, the biggest challenge facing quantum computing is the development of robust and stable qubits which are necessary for practical quantum computing. Additionally, the software and algorithms that are able to harness the full potential of quantum computing are still in development. Overall, quantum computing is a promising technology that has the potential to change the way we process and understand information. While it is still in the early stages of development, and there are still many challenges to overcome, the potential benefits make it an exciting field to watch. Quantum computing works by using quantum bits, or qubits, instead of classical bits to store and process data. A classical bit can only exist in one of two states, zero or one, but a qubit can exist in a superposition of states, meaning it can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This property of qubits allows quantum computers to perform certain calculations much faster than classical computers. For example, a classical computer would need to run through all possible solutions to a problem, one at a time, in order to find the correct answer. But a quantum computer can run through all possible solutions simultaneously using the property of superposition. Another important property of qubits is entanglement. This means that two or more qubits can become correlated in such a way that the state of one qubit can instantaneously affect the state of another qubit, even if they are separated by large distances. This property allows quantum computers to perform certain calculations that would be impossible for classical computers. A key aspect of quantum computing is the use of quantum algorithms. These are specific set of instructions tailored to take advantage of the properties of qubits. Some examples of quantum algorithms are Shor's algorithm, which can factorize large numbers exponentially faster than the best-known classical algorithm, and Grover's algorithm that can search an assorted database quadratically faster than classical algorithms. Currently, the biggest challenge facing quantum computing is the development of robust and stable qubits. Additionally, the software and algorithms that are able to harness the full potential of quantum computing are still in development. Overall, quantum computing is a highly complex field that builds upon the principles of quantum mechanics. It is a new way of processing and understanding information, and it has the potential to solve problems that are currently unsolvable by classical computers. Quantum computing is a relatively new field of technology that holds a lot of promise, but it also has several limitations that must be considered. Some of the main limitations of quantum computing include scalability. Currently, the number of qubits that can be used in a quantum computer is limited, and it is not clear how to scale up to the large number of qubits needed for practical applications. This is one of the biggest challenges facing quantum computing today. Noise and decoherence, the qubits in a quantum computer are highly sensitive to their environment, and any noise or decoherence can cause errors in the computation. This makes it difficult to maintain the stability of qubits over time, which is necessary for practical quantum computing. Complexity, the algorithms and software needed to run a quantum computer are highly complex and still being developed. This makes it difficult for researchers to fully understand and take advantage of the capabilities of quantum computers. Thank you. Quantum computers could one day solve some of the world's toughest problems. And they'd do this by working completely differently to a regular computer. Information is stored in your laptop in bits. Every bit is either a one or a zero. 
up or down. But quantum computers are made of qubits. Unlike bits, qubits can be a mixture of one and zero at the same time. Quantum computers are made of several entangled qubits with all their states connected together. But actually building a quantum computer is a challenge. In normal computers, it's easy to add more bits. But for quantum computers, the more qubits you have, the harder it is to add one more. This makes it tricky to scale up from a simple quantum computer to something more powerful. Another problem is that quantum computers have to keep their qubits protected. Too much interference from the outside world and the entanglement is broken. But overcoming these challenges and building a powerful quantum computer would come with big rewards. Take searching. Imagine you have a bunch of mixed up business cards. How would a computer find the right one? A normal computer has to look through one by one until it eventually finds the right card. But a quantum computer has a trick up its sleeve. Because the quantum computer is in many states at once, it can search all the cards at once. After several sweeps, it finds the card. And quantum computers could help tackle all sorts of other problems, like modeling protein folding and cracking data encryption. But even if scientists can one day build a powerful quantum computer, it probably wouldn't be useful for everyday tasks. So don't throw away your laptop just yet.